um, I just finished the Leo uh, reading as well. And there's like people from the past coming back in where they should work on the relationship. So maybe it's a fire sign thing, but I feel for you, the energy might be different. So I feel like you might want to hold off on, you know, re-engaging with an ex, okay? Um, I also feel, first of all, that um, financial stability as well. There are, a, for a lot of you, within like the past year, I feel that you're you're working very hard. You're getting yourself to a place where you are feeling very, very financially stable, okay? You've worked hard for it, and, you know, the financial foundation is finally starting to stabilize itself. And I feel like there might be some concerns for some reason. I'm feeling there might be some concerns that the financial situation, it's, it's kind of like you're planning ahead now that you're out of, you know, survival mode and you're in a good place financially. You're planning things longer term. A lot of you might be going back to school. A lot of you might be planning to, you know, either pursue higher education, going back to school, learning, investing in a, a training program to learn some new skills and um, in order to enhance your earning potential but in the process of doing these things you might have to take some time off from work in order to pursue that so I feel like you're trying to figure out how to best do it so that you can still maintain your financial security but still better yourself you know on the um, education front so it's a really good energy and I feel like you're going to get support from the universe no matter what you decide to do. So don't worry about it too much, okay? Take it easy. Education and, you know, travel are always supported by the universe. We just have to like time it just right. And I feel like if you get an itch to return back to school, it basically means your soul wants to learn and your soul is craving. Wow. So, um, your soul is craving nourishment, okay? And um, education doesn't have to cost an arm and a leg. Just plan it out. Do research into the proper place that you want to um, study and find a way to do it cheaply if you can, to do it part-time if you can so that you don't destabilize your financial foundation as a result. Um, first of all, I said, wow, because um, this card came out in the same position, in the same placement for you and three other signs. So Aquarius, I believe Virgo, and um, I can't think of the other sign. I, I can't for the life of me think of the other sign. It might be Sagittarius, I, I'm not really sure, but it came out for four signs, including you. And that's just weird because um, I sage the cards. I run them through sage and um, I'm burning sage right now actually. And um, I don't do the recording in the same days either. So it's just a little bit strange. Okay, so we'll go over this spread. I feel like for a lot of you, um, there might have been situations in the past where you felt a lot of um, restrictions, okay? Um, Aries, you are a really dynamic sign and you have like, uh, you are very, very ambitious. And whenever you encounter uh, restrictions, I feel like it's really frustrating for you more so than all the other signs because um, you're like very go, go, go. And when things are stalled or when there are restrictions placed upon you, you tend to lash out a little bit. You don't handle restrictions very well. You and Aquarius. So a lot of you might be dealing with an Aquarius, but either way, I feel like you don't handle restrictions very well. And, um, whenever there are restrictions it comes it brings about a lot of frustration as well so a lot of you have been very frustrated in the past or have been feeling a lot of restrictions and i feel like your financial situation was one of the major concerns because you don't you're not like a money grubbing type of uh, sign and you don't pursue money financial abundance just for you know just to be wealthy you do it because you understand that your foundation has to be stable before your life can begin. So a lot of you are dreaming about, you know, higher education or dreaming about travel or dreaming about developing yourselves to the best of your capabilities, to the best of your potential. And a lot of you are very driven, are very uh, passionate, are very ambitious. So once you have something that stirs your passion, 
you want to like learn everything there is about that. But I feel like a lot of restrictions have been placed upon you when it comes to financial resources. And as a result of it, you, you had to like put your dreams, your hopes, your aspirations on hold. And I feel like this is the year 2016 for some reason it's like a gateway where these passions are like um, coming back and they're rushing back in and they're um, they're basically telling you you need to do more with your life and you need to pursue these passions because um, you've been you've been keeping us on the back burner for so long and we need an outlet for you to um, move forward in a way where you are going to be emotionally spiritually happy okay so it's kind of like all these passions were pushed back because of financial reasons and now that you're financially stable i feel like a lot of you are um you are going to uh, give yourself or to give these passions a voice and at least to find ways to realize them and make your dreams come true it's a really good energy um we still have some blockages so you are going to have to find realistic ways to make them come to fruition. This basically means planning out what your life is going to look like for the next year, for the next two, three years, for the next five years. If you want these dreams to come to fruition, you are going to have to do further planning. And as the first sign of the zodiac, as the first sign that you know likes to jump in, you might want to do some planning. Okay, so some meticulous planning is going to be required of you in order to make these dreams a reality. So the cards are basically advising you. A lot of you have a um, have stabilized your financial foundation. It is time to revisit those dreams that have been put on the back burner. So that's what I'm, I'm sensing right now. There's like basically um, you have fin your financial foundation. The universe is like working for the past few years to get you to the point where you are financially stable. And you get financially stable and don't get too comfortable because you have to revisit those dreams that you shelved in the past um, so that you can make them a reality so that you can better yourself so that you can create the life that you want so that you can basically um, live up to your true potential. We're all on earth to develop ourselves to the best of our capabilities. Sometimes restrictions are placed upon us because the timing might not be right or because we have to do things in a um, more organized, systematic, or, you know, manner, or things have to happen in their own time. So I feel like divine timing is in store for you right now, because I feel like 2016, it's a number uh, nine year, and it's basically like finishing up karma. It's also basically revisiting past karma, revisiting past issues as well, to um, basically figure out how we're going to move ahead and to create a better future for ourselves, okay? So some dreams are being revisited, which is always nice. Now, what's coming through in terms of your crossing energy is the Page of Wands. And the Page of Wands is a very young energy. It deals with messages, communication. It also brings uh, in news on the financial front, and it brings about opportunities for us. So the Page of Wands, because it's a very young energy, um, I feel that you are going to have to do some planning. So the information is coming through, but in terms of practically implementing the, them in the real world, you are going to have to be careful and you are going to have to lay down some solid plans in order to make them come to fruition, okay? The page of coins is also coming in here to um, make you think. I, I don't want to say make because it sounds so like forceful, but I feel like it's um, an energy where it's telling you, okay, Aries, you have these plans. How can you manifest them in a realistic way in the real world? So don't jump the gun. You need to do some planning, okay? And I feel like for a lot of you, if it's education, talk to somebody who has been through it so that they can give you some guidance. If it's a training program, research into the most cost-effective training program. If it's just, you know, projects that you have dreamed about and now it's kind of like you have the investment, you have the extra money that you can uh, funnel into this situation, you really have to be realistic. You have to be realistic about how it's going to pan out because I feel like what's crowning you here is the Ten of Swords. 
which is, you know, unexpected events that can be very detrimental. It's in the reverse position. Whatever you've been shelving away because you feel like, oh, I'm not good enough. The opportunity is not right. I have all these restrictions placed upon me or I'm afraid of failure. All of these things are just mental energies, okay? So you, some things from your past that has been put on the back burner needs to be revisited. And I say things, I don't say people. For Leo, the energy was mainly about people. For you, I feel like it's things, projects, um, ideas, plans. They need to be revisited, okay? Um, in terms of the foundation here, we have the Justice card. And the Justice card is in the reverse position. I feel for a lot of you, um, for a lot of, um, this is just, you know, a, a personal anecdote. I feel like for a lot of the um, Aries that I've met, there is just like, um, it's a process of kind of like, um, you're a very young energy and you blaze through life. So it's not until, you know, your 30s, it's not until you have your Saturn return where you can basically look back at your life and, and figure out where have I gone wrong, where have I gone right. So I feel like because you, you spent majority of your, um, you know, 20s kind of blazing through life and figuring things out rather than having a game plan that I feel like you have, you realize, you know, if you're in your 30s or beyond and you're looking back at your life and you're looking back at your 20s specifically, you have a lot of regrets. And um, the regrets are there to remind us that, you know, all opportunities are not lost. When we have regrets, it means our soul, our soul on a very deep soul level, we want certain things. So whatever regrets you have, they're coming in for re-examination so that you can fix them or that you can revisit them and bring them into your future with you. So I feel like for a lot of you, specifically because of this spread, I'm feeling as if there might have been a few poor choices when it comes to career when it comes to financial planning because of this page of uh, um, pentacles energy so i feel like because of it you were kind of like um, caught up in financial security or you were caught up in trying to secure your financial base and a lot of op you had to make a lot of sacrifices along the way and now that you're stable I, and i hope you're stable and i feel that a lot of you are stable the dreams that you shelve needs to be revisited and you feel as if, you know, it's not fair. Why were so many responsibilities imposed upon me in the past? Well, the situation here is for you to, you know, figure out a, a proper game plan and to be very methodical about how you execute plans in the future and not to jump the gun, okay? And obviously not all Aries are like this, but I do feel that you have opportunities here to right some situations and especially to bring those dreams back into your present environment so that you can move away with them. And um, I feel like for a lot of you, if higher education, educational attainment, personal goals, ambitions that have been, that that basically you've had to sacrifice because of lack of financial security, a lot of you should revisit them and it's going to be really beneficial for you. Okay, so think about it. Think about what you can do and talk to some mentors, talk to some people that have been through it to see if you can get some pointers from them and to lay out a solid game plan for yourself. I feel like a lot of Aries, you start out in your 20s as an Aries and then by your 30s, 40s, you turn into a Taurus where you start to plan things a little bit more, where you're more security focused, where you're more financially focused as well. So it, I feel like for those of you watching this who are in your 30s, you might be thinking about going back uh, to school you might be thinking about, you know, how can I improve or enhance my income generating potential? So I feel like, especially for those of you born on the cusp, watch both videos for Aries and Taurus and see what it, messages are coming through. I feel like the Taurus video is more about love. So this is um, your financial foundation that you're trying to build here. And you're trying to increase your earning potential, your earning capabilities. So a lot of you might be going back to school, might be thinking about how you can do that. And how you can do that requires a little bit more research. It requires a little bit more of a game plan for the next, you know, three, four, five years, okay? What's coming in is you have some very strong spiritual guidance and you have some very strong support. 
So you have the emperor here. This is not only your card. This is also divine protection. So this card as you, it represents basically you are on the right track, Aries. Whatever plans you have, based on your sheer ambition, based on, you know, just your, your um, um, I, I feel like your sense of perseverance, you know, pushing ahead, not letting the restrictions get to you. You're being rewarded. So you are going to have some opportunities to realize these dreams, okay? External to your environment, you want to be a little bit careful. All the information that you're getting, make sure that they are coming from legitimate sources and make sure they're coming from a good space, making sure they're coming from a good environment. So for example, if, um, <clears throat> if like a, a really successful entrepreneur tells you, um, you know, I got where I am because of hard work, of dedication and of um, educational attainment and you follow that route, you're going to be very successful. If someone tells you, here are these pyramid schemes, here are these get rich quick schemes that you should invest in, you want to be careful. So just be careful about your external environment. For those of you getting, dealing with a, um, an earth sign especially, earth signs of course are very, very good at um, practicality and practical plans. For those of you who are dealing with an earth sign specifically, I feel that they're going to give you very good advice. If there is an earth sign from your past coming back into your environment, I feel that they can be trustworthy, okay? And they are sincere in trying to help you move forward in a uh, as a partnership or as a partner or a partnership together with them. It's going to be fruitful. For those of you dealing with a, a water sign, you want to be very, very careful. Not because they're bad, because it's a page energy, but mainly because I feel like um, this is a situation that might have run its course. So you want to be, just be careful about re-engaging with past people. I feel like it's more important for you re to revisit past ideas rather than past people. So um, coming in, your hopes and fears, we do have the High Priestess. This is basically our intuition steering us in the right direction it's also a card about information being revealed to us revelations coming through that will coming through from our external environment and i feel like it's um it's more of a spiritual matter where we are getting divine guidance to steer us in a better direction where things don't have to feel so difficult where things you're finding smart ways or creative ways to solve difficult um, problems basically it's very very strong divine protection and guidance coming through for you where you're going to feel as if I don't have to work so hard I can work smart okay so that's what I feel is coming through for a lot of you um, for a lot of you some relationships partnerships especially on the work front needs to be re-examined to see if they're coming to fruition to see if they're panning out in the way that you want once again this is a card about hard work it's about you know working really hard and waiting for the harvest and rather than working hard try to find creative ways to work smart trying to find ways to streamline your work processes a lot of you are waiting on some type of financial payout as well it is it is coming through for you but i i also want you to think about you know rather than living paycheck to paycheck waiting for um, a financial payout how can you increase or enhance or um, find different ways to stabilize your financial future so that means it could potentially mean going back to school or it can potentially mean finding different ways to tackle old problems or finding different ways especially on the job front in order for you to find um to have a better financial base okay with the judgment card in the reverse position once again something is forcing you to revisit old dreams that have been shelved old ways of doing things that you have like um, wanted in the past you couldn't do it then because the timing now is starting to clear up for you so it's really important to revisit some things from the past okay and I feel like things not so much people but things from the past I feel like for a lot of you there might be exes coming back in and I don't advise getting back with exes I feel for a lot of you people that you might have like interest in but you might not have like a romantic past with if they're coming in if you've never dated them it's important for you to date them I feel like that would be very good for you you have some strong messages coming through that would indicate that would be fruitful for you to revisit things from the past okay I do wish you the best Aries the reading seems to be very solid I, I feel like um, it's a really good month for you